Hey guys, it's Dan from Make Some Noise, back again for week five of Music With Dan. It's a beautiful sunny day, which I'm really happy about, because today we're going to be learning a brand new skill, and that is how to play in any key. Okay, so, so far we have mostly been playing uh, with C major, just the white keys, right? But after today we're going to learn a couple of rules, and I'm explaining them in a real simple way, best I can for you, so that moving forward you can look at any piece in any key, or you can write any piece in any key, and it's not going to worry you, because you're going to know these tips and tricks. So stay tuned, let's enjoy, let's do it, come on. Okay guys, I'm so excited. Top tip number one, how to play in any key. It's going to take a little bit of explaining, but trust me, you're going to get this. Everything so far that we've been doing in Music With Dan has been in the key of C major. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Right? And we can build chords out of that. You already know that stuff. Chord one, chord four, chord five, chord six, and chord one. You even know how to take chord four and make it minor by lowering the third of the chord. Beautiful. And then off and coming back to chord one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, playing in C major is a doddle. Guess what? For every major key, for every key, that sounds happy. A little life lesson as well. For every key that sounds happy, there's another key that is not as happy, and it's called the relative minor. And it's got a totally different feeling. And it's kind of made up of one of the chords that we use. I've already underlined it. It's made a chord six. And all it means is that it's another key you can use where one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are all different notes, but they're all notes that we also find in C. So check it out. I'm just taking what would be six in C and making it one in A minor, right? Super duper 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 simple. It's really, really great, really great tip, this one. You can play in A minor as easily as that. I've taken the six and I've made it the one in A minor. Now have a listen to this. <laughs> Chord one in A minor is A minor. Chord three in A minor is C major. Chord four in A minor is D minor. Chord five in A minor is E minor. Chord six in A minor is F major. Chord seven in A minor is G major. And chord one in A minor is A minor. It's the same rules. It's the same rules as the same kind of thing. So we already know, if we don't play in C major, right? We just go to number six, and then we already know how to play in A minor. So you've just doubled how many keys you can play in, and you've only learned one shape. So let's learn some more shapes. Now, imagine if you want to play a song in a totally different key and you're looking at some music or a video and they're playing white keys and black keys. They're playing in a totally different key. How do you tackle that? How do you figure out what notes you should and shouldn't be playing? How do you write chords in different keys? It is super duper duper simple. It doesn't take a lot of work to wrap your brain around. So have a listen to this. It's so easy, right? You think all your keys are evenly spaced out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. But they're not, okay? Because we got the black keys in between, okay? So a major scale skips some black keys, and sometimes there isn't a black key in the way, so there's no key to skip. Between C and D, you've got to skip a, you've got to skip a black key, right? We're going to call that a whole step. Skipping any key, for that matter, a whole step. We're going to call that W for whole step. D and E, we've got to do another whole step, because there's a black key in between. E and F, there's no black key in between. But we're still going to go E to F because we know that's C major. So that is a half step. F to G is a whole step because there's a key in between. G to A, whole step because there's a key in between. A to B, whole step because there's a key in between. B to C, half step because there's no key in between, right? So in C major, we start with C. And to get to the next note in a major key, this case key major, uh, C major, we need to jump a whole step. So we'll go whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step back to C. Right? So the pattern that I'm interested in for any major key, and actually any minor key as well, because it just starts at a different point, okay, is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. Half step. If you can think of a cool way to remember that, let me know. W W H 
WWWH. Okay, cool. Right, so let's start working in a different key. Let's just do it. Let's just dive right in. Okay, so let's play in any key. Let's do it. We can plug in any letter we like at this point, and it's going to work. It's kind of beautiful, right? We're going to start with G. Okay, this is where things get a bit cool, right? So number one is G. We whole step to A. That means we skip a key. Then we whole step to B. That means we skip a key. We're skipping that black key in between A and B. Check it out. And then we've got a half step. No keys to skip. So we just go straight to our C. And then we've got a whole step to our D. Yep, we're skipping a note. And then we've got a whole step to our E. Yep, we're skipping a note. And then we've got a whole step from our E to our next note. Now we know a whole step is skipping a note and going to the next one. So I'm gonna skip the F and I'm gonna go straight to the F sharp. If you're not sure what an F sharp is, check out from the week previous. It's just the next key up, right? So if I'm on that E and I need to whole step up to the seventh degree of my scale, I'm going up to F sharp, baby, yeah. That is wicked. G major has an F sharp in it, just because it follows the same pattern as C major, and D major, and B major, and E major, and F major. They're all the same, right? And then after our seventh degree, after that F sharp, we've got a half step to our last note, which is G. Fantastic. So as easy as that, by following whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. There's got to be a cool way of writing this. You can do it in numbers if you want. Two keys, two keys, one key. Two key, two key, two key, one key. Two key, two key, one key. Okay, so wonderful. We know how to play in G major. Let's quickly figure out how to play in E minor. When we played in C major, we went one, two, three, four, five, six to A minor. And then our A minor scale was just the same as our C major scale, but it started at A. It went A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Right? So if we're in G major, we just go to number six, which is E, and we know already how to play the E minor scale, and that starts with E. So let's just quickly write out our E minor scale. We've got E. Our next note is F sharp. I'm just copying the G major scale. Our next note is G. Our next note is A, B, C, D, and E again. So let's quickly look at that pattern. That's a minor scale. That's the E minor scale, it's that simple. All we've done is shifted over what we learned from our G major scale and we got our E minor scale. Now, if somebody says to you, hey, I wanna play an E minor, and you don't wanna quickly work out which is the relative major, blah, 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 blah. There's another pattern, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half for major, but minor has its own pattern. That's always the same, no matter what note you start on, playing a minor, uh, a, a minor scale or a minor key. Right? So, in E minor, we've got our E as number one and our F sharp as number two. So that's a whole step jump. We know that. E to F sharp is a whole step jump. So let's just write W for whole step, right? F sharp to G is a half step. G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step. B to C is, B to C is a half step. I'm just copying it over. C to D is a whole step, and D to E is a whole step. Let's just quickly write that out a bit neater. Click my fingers. Okay, great, so here we are, E minor. We've got E, whole step to F sharp, half step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E. We've got E minor. Lovely, right? We can do that for any key. Okay, let's just quickly recap our major trick and our minor trick. Okay, so final quick tip and recap, guys, how to play in any key. Let's start with G. I like playing in G, right? G, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, because there's no note in between, whole step to D, whole step to E, Whole step, and if we're gonna whole step from this key, we're gonna skip the F and go to the F sharp because we're whole stepping, we're skipping a note, yeah? So F sharp, and then finally we've got a half step to finish, which takes us back to our G. Lovely, that's how we play our major key. Now how do we play our minor key? Let's do E, just because we practiced it earlier. We're gonna start on E. 
we get a whole step from E straight to that F sharp, right? We're gonna half step from the F sharp to the G. We're gonna whole step from the G to the A, whole step from the A to the B, half step from the B to the C, whole step from the C to the D, and whole step from the D to the E, E minor. Okay, so let's put it to the test, right? Let's play in a key we've never played in. Let's just figure out what notes are in that key, because then we can figure out what chords are in that key using our simple tricks from lesson one. Yes, right, A major, let's start. A, what comes after A in a major key? All right, well, we gotta find out. We got a whole step from A, right? So we get a whole step to B. So we know that B is next. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, yeah? After B, we've already done a whole step, we've got to do another whole step. How do we whole step from B? Well, we skip a key, we go to the next one. That's the black key directly to the right of the C. That's a C sharp. Sounds a bit freaky. A major is going to sound quite different to these other keys. Okay, so after that, we've got a half step to our D. After our half step, we've got a whole step, so we're going to skip a note to our E. After that, we've got another whole step, so we're going to skip a note to our F sharp. See that? E, F, F sharp, brilliant. Where are we? We've got another whole step to do, I believe. So we're gonna, whole step. So we're gonna skip our G and go to our G sharp. That's all the whole step is, not the G. The next key along, which is a G sharp. And our last note is an A, same as our first note. So our A major scale sounds like this. A, B, C sharp, D. E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, so we know how to play an A major. We also know how to play the relative minor, F sharp minor. We just start there, so we got F sharp minor. So it goes F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. Lovely, right? So we can play in any key we like like this. We can play in any key we like. Okay, I got over that a little bit quickly, so feel free to go back and recap it. But if you're ever unsure of what notes or chords are meant to be in which key, yeah, just check that out. Write it out for yourself, and you can go back to lesson one, right? And you can plug it in as any key. So you can write, follow, learn chord progressions in any key. It's also a big help when you go, if you go, to learn anything like sheet music, right? because you don't have to worry too much about what all those sharps and flats are doing, because you already know the shapes and you already know the tricks. Fantastic. How to play in any key, done. Well done, guys. And that's a wrap, guys. Absolutely a huge well done if you can now play. I've got a sign that says well done. I'm okay with it. A massive well done if you can play now in any key using that rule. Okay, so before maybe you thought, oh, I'm not learning that, it's in F sharp minor. I'm not learning that, it's in C sharp major. I'm not learning that, it's in, oh, it doesn't matter. Because we've got those two rules. Well, it's one rule, it's kind of two rules. We've got what we learned today and we can apply it in any situation. That's going to help us to learn new songs. That's going to help us to write songs. And it's going to help broaden our understanding of music in general so that we're fully equipped moving forward as musicians. Okay, well done. I know I've said it, I know, well done. It's absolutely brilliant, okay? If you have any questions, please do drop me an email. It's dan at makesomenoise.com, okay? If I answer your question, it might be a question that somebody else was thinking of asking too, so you could be helping a friend out too, all right? So if you have any questions, musical, technical, about anything we've covered today or in the past five weeks, please do let me know, all right? Until next week, have a wonderful week, enjoy the sun, take care of yourself, stay safe. Bye guys!